So when Mallory was four, I said, mom, look at Mallory's legs. And her feet were straight together, but her knees were turned in. And the doctor wasn't very concerned because she was so young. Fast forward to Mallory's 11 years old and both of her coaches, they said to me, she's always complaining during basketball of her ankles were hurting or you know, her knees were hurting or her hips were hurting. And I said, oh my gosh. There's something going on here that's probably significant. They wanted to try to get her into physical therapy first to see if by strengthening her muscles, if they could correct the alignment that way. It wasn't really doing much. Moved on to the x-rays and MRI. We found out that she was born with her bones, they were twisted. So we made an appointment with Dr. Hasbeek, whom we love very much, and he knew immediately like what we were talking about. Dr. Hasbeek said she has miserable malalignment syndrome. And we're like, wow, sounds pretty serious. To me, it was obvious we were gonna have to travel just because it was gonna be so extensive. We actually took a step back, went to Syracuse Orthopedic uh, Specialty Group, and that guy had a two-page report in his hand and said, I think Dr. Hasbeek knows what he's talking about. I can't remember his name, but he said he, said he wouldn't attempt it. Either we'd come back and see Dr. Hasbeek or we could go to Boston Children's Hospital. So I'm like, we're going back to see Dr. Hasbeek. So we did, and within 20 minutes, I stopped him and said, you're gonna be doing it. I just relaxed immediately and knew we were gonna be fine. We were so lucky to have him here. He knew exactly what needed to be done. I was really nervous. He was making it like, it wasn't that scary, but it was a little scary. Mallory was in the ICU for four days after. Everybody at the hospital was awesome. I was in these casts first after my surgery. They're connected because I wasn't allowed to move my legs after the surgery. She'd do her exercises at home for physical therapy, and she was so determined to get better. At first it hurt to stand, and my legs were very weak, but I got the muscle back now. Uh, within six weeks, she was back to school. I've been out of my boots for two months now. It feels really good. <laughs> my legs are straight now, and it doesn't hurt to walk or run or play basketball. And she's already thinking that she might want to go into the medical field and possibly orthopedics. She actually said she wanted to work with Dr. Hasby. I said, well, he might be retired by the time you get up there, but... I just want to be in the medical field and help people. To realize that something like this could be done right here, and the standard of care that we witnessed all the way through has just been absolutely excellent. We're and, and beyond grateful that we were able to <clears throat> stay close to home, and we didn't have to travel all the way back to Boston or Syracuse for follow-up appointments. It'll feel good to see everybody at practice and just hang out with my friends and play sports. It's, it's really been excellent, and we're very pleased that uh, something like this was actually offered in Camp Postam Hospital. We couldn't be happier. Thank you, Dr. Hasbeek. I'm very thankful that he was my doctor. No more pain. <laughs>